So this is just the little video showing how I paint part of my process. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much a work with what you got situation. This is actually a space heater uh, that we're not currently using because it's summertime. Uh, but it makes a great little uh, table. And I just take some good old fashioned uh, Reynolds wrap, heavy duty, so it won't rip. If you get the thin stuff, the uh, foil will tend to rip. Now it's probably not the best palette in the world uh, because it reflects the light and as you mix paint colors on it you don't get an accurate uh, you know an accurate view of what color you're using but for me I don't really mind because I'm not professional and I don't really match colors like that uh, portrait painting anyway then I have my standard I use these couple cups fill one with water uh, these are my brushes I'm pretty much just a filbert guy I love the filberts. Uh, pretty much do everything with just filberts because I find that they're very versatile. If I want a, a thick line, I can just use that whole edge and just you know get a real nice thick uh, application. Uh, or if I want a fine detail, I can just use that edge. Get in there with the uh, just using the, the edge of the uh, the brush. It's a very good brush. I love filberts. I think I might marry the filberts uh, one day to marry those. Uh, so today I'm going to try to tackle uh, up here in the turban. Now the thing with this, it's all detail. Uh, it's building up layers of uh, color and getting the right values and shadows. I also just use a standard uh, t-shirt, old t-shirt for a rag to wipe off my brush as I'm working. Uh, paints, and here I'm just using a chair to set up. Obviously you don't always do this unless you have a giant painting uh, that you're working on, then you would do that. Um, then I have my paints in this bin. Some of these guys here uh, a lot of paint I like this uh, Grumbacher I like this Grumbacher Acad Academy stuff I find it's very uh, it's got good good quality to it nice uh, handling don't ever buy this stuff uh, artist loft which is the Michaels proprietary brand this stuff is junk uh, it's, it has like no body to it. It's just thin, uh, totally washed out. It doesn't build up. It's horrible, horrible stuff. Um, at the end, I'm probably going to start using some of the uh, um, gloss medium. I'm going to mix this with some of the acrylic to do uh, some layers and glazes. Uh, we'll see how that goes. That's the very last step. There's, as you can see, way more to do before we even get to that uh, part of the shoe. Uh, so anyway, let me go ahead and pause here and then we'll come back and I'll show you uh, my paints and all that stuff. So here I just kind of set up a little palette of uh, titanium white, some medium cadmium red, um, and then I have my raw sienna, my burnt sienna, the burnt umber, I got it on my finger now, and I have a little Prussian blue. Uh, so this is just kind of trying to get these uh, tones for inside when I get into the, um, the ornaments. I'm going to get kind of a golden, some sort of golden color, which is what I was doing in here, uh, you know, golden ornaments. Uh, but that's pretty much I'm just going to start mixing these, get out the filbert. Uh, I'll probably go with something a little smaller. Um, a number six. A number six filbert. I recently just got these. These are low Cornell. Le Cornier. Le Cornier. Le Cornier. Le Cornier. Anyway, they're a very nice brush. Uh, so what I do 
They're very, the bristles are very smooth. Nice application. I just get a little water to start it off. Uh, and I just start to kind of mix my colors. Uh, looking for the right value. I want something a little dark because I'm going to kind of trace in the ornaments. And if I want to go really dark, I can get some of that Prussian blue in there. But uh, yeah. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing the actual painting. Um, actually, I might want to go in with a round. I don't know what I was thinking. Mm. Anyway, it's going to be all white. Now, I, I was looking at reference, which I'll show you right here. This is a BG Sharma uh, painting. Um, the BG Sharma, as you can see, has a lot of detail in there, which is kind of crazy. Um, I don't know that I really want to paint all that, but he also has an outline up here. So I would actually go in here and just kind of uh, outline. Mm, start to draw in some more of these details. Again, going back to this little palette thing, get a little water. I like to make my acrylics kind of thin because it allows me to kind of uh, draw draw with the paints. Um, I don't know that everybody likes to draw with the paint. Now I'm really not going to show my whole process of doing this because I really need to concentrate and uh, I can't really do that while I'm jib jabbing and holding a phone. <laughs> I just start to block that out. Now most people don't like to show, at least I don't really like to show as I'm painting because it's, you know, well, it looks like garbage, right? But uh, it takes time. <clears throat> it takes time to build it all up. <clears throat> and that's, I think, a lot of people don't understand that painting really is a process and it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of time to build up your uh, colors. Values, uh, the light, the dark. I'm going in with a little more Prussian blue here, because I saw on the BG Sharma, uh, he actually has little ornaments that come down here. So I'm just going to block these in here. Uh, this this turban is going to take forever. Uh, like literally, it's going to take forever. Probably I'll be dead, and this will be unfinished. But that's okay. I'll just have I'll have Gita finish it, right? You gonna finish this painting? So she'll finish it when I'm dead. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I'll come back in a bit and show you where it's at, um, so you can kind of see how it's progressed, and then uh, we'll see where it's at. All right. All right, so I've been painting for, I don't know, maybe uh, 45 minutes or so, half hour, something. I don't know how long it's been. That's what happens when you paint. You lose track of uh, reality and time. Uh, as you can see here, I've been painting. <clears throat> this is what my palette has been looking like. Um, I actually went in with a round. I've been using the round uh, Bow Cornell uh, number four. I think that's a number four. Why did I, I just sounded like Barack Obama? We're using the number four. Uh, and this is what I've been mixing. You can see getting these different values in here. Um, this is where we're at so far with the turban. Um, painted up in here. Uh, mostly it's just been a lot of these white dots right now. Uh, a lot of white dots. That's all the little details. Uh, if we come in a little closer here, I still have to work in all the little details throughout the ornamentation here. Um, I was doing these peacock feathers, which can be tricky. Uh, I was using actually some reference uh, here. Looking at the inside, I went in with this Prussian blue. Uh, the Prussian blue here for the inside of the peacock feather and then I took some turquoise green some light permanent green uh, some cobalt blue 
just kept fudging around with it, trying to get a nice uh, color that would sort of uh, match this tone inside. Because with the peacock feather, it's very trans, uh, not translucent, but it's kind of, uh, um, it's got sort of a vibrance to it where it'll be blue at one angle and green at another angle. So it's very tricky to get that color. Uh, so it's just kind of a bluish green. Um, I went in there with the turquoise, uh, turquoise green. Anyway, I just painted those in. Use the Prussian blue for the dark. It's just, oh, you gotta build it up. You gotta keep building up, building up. It's not even done yet, you know? And you gotta go back in there, lighten some areas, some highlights, some details. Come back in here, lighten this up. Which is kind of what I've been doing, uh, you know, with these sort of details. Um, adding this lighter highlight uh, to kind of bring out some form. So, gives it some depth, so. I would come in here, also on here, you can see where I was doing that effect. Just bringing in a little highlight on top of that. Um, to kind of bring it forward a little bit. Like give it some form. And here I'm going to have to define all these little ornaments. you got to define these. Uh, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Then I have to do all of this ornamentation on Radharani's headdress here. Uh, the last step would be to put in their face, uh, finish their faces, their eyes, like that. Uh, it's definitely painting is a labor, labor of love for painting. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Quick little demo, just kind of how I work. Just sit here and keep painting, you know, keep painting. Now what I would normally do if I'm done, I'm just going to take a break. Uh, I need to eat some food for lunch. So I'm just going to take a break. And what I would do is, you can either spray this, the spray bottle, and keep it moist. Or, uh, if I'm not too long, I'll just leave it out and then just come back to it. It'll still be fresh. Um, and you don't want to leave your brushes just sitting in the cup like that. Which, bad things happen uh, to the handles like this. Which is a bad habit of mine. Um, the wood on them starts to actually crack, split, and then it just peels off. So with these new more expensive brushes, I'm trying to uh, avert that. So I would just dry it off and just uh, just not leave it in the cup for now. Uh, but that's where it is for now. And then I'll come back to it, try to finish that turban. And then uh, get to their faces. It's pretty much the lower half is pretty much there. Uh, we fixed this little bit on the uh, lotus flower. But uh, pretty much this half down, I would say, is pretty much done. And maybe get in some more darks in here for shadow under the lotus. Um, fix some in here with his uh, pant that looks a little. Not right. Probably try to form it more. Looks like a curve around you know, the leg, which I would add some shadow in this side. So I'm imagining my light source from here coming down. I have a light source in mind that's coming from this upper right corner. Um, it's not exact science, but just to have a rough idea of the lighting source to keep it consistent. Um, as you can see here, this is my lighting source would be creating these little highlights, um, you know, in through the, the ornaments, and then on this side here, the light. I'm just thinking about light and how the light would actually, uh, you know, be striking these things. Even here, the light is on the edge of the, uh, the garlands. So, anyway, that's it for now. That's it for now. I need to eat some food, man. You want to eat some food? Me you! Me you, yeah, all right. Yeah, me you! Hey, thanks for watching our video. Hey, see you later. We'll come back to the video soon. Thanks for watching my cool, cool trips.